Hey everyone. So I'm sitting out here on our brand new beautiful porch. Um, and I figured that I would do a video all about the beautiful lichen called Usnea. Um, it is kind of windy today, so I'm hoping that the wind isn't going to affect the sound in this video too much. So, uh, I did a quick, um, Instagram story of a bunch of usnea that I found on some down branches. Like I said, we've had some winds, so, um, I found a bunch of down branches with a bunch of usnea growing on it. And usnea is very slow growing, so it is very good uh, decision to try to find usnea growing off of branches um, that have fallen or broken down on the ground. Uh, and that way we are sustainably picking and wild crafting um, usnea. So this was a really good time to pick a bunch of it off of all of the dead branches that I found on the ground. So usnea is a really cool, um, a really cool plant. It's actually a lichen, um, but its nickname is Old Man's Beard. And I wonder if you could tell why. <laughs> um, so that's like really cool kind of nickname for usnea. So usnea, Old Man's Beard, is a very medicinal lichen. And a really good way to identify this is basically what you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and very gently pull apart the strands and you're gonna find on the inside I probably can't show it on the video but you're gonna find on the inside that it has a white rubber band like um, center so that's how you can positively identify it so maybe I could show I don't think it's gonna show but You'll get the idea. So you pull it apart. You see like a for the wind to pass. See like a white rubber band like um, inner strand. So um, usnea is very medicinal. It is specifically really wonderful um, for infections. So um, antibiotic, antiviral, antifungal. Um, so we could use usnea for, um, you know, immune support and like anytime you feel kind of something coming on or starting to take hold, it's really good paired with a medicinal mushroom like reishi or turkey tail, um, or pairing it also with, um, elderberry, elderberry syrup or elderberry elixir. Okay. Go ahead and restart here. So um, this is uh, really valuable as far as like a liquid extraction. Um, when it comes to tinctures, which are alcohol extractions, what we want with um, a plant like this and also medicinal mushrooms is to do uh, dual extractions. So you'll do a hot water extraction and then a um, alcohol extraction. So I actually have um, a dual extraction of usnea here. Um, usnea is not something that you want to take on a regular basis. It's going to be something that you want to use more for treatment as it's very potent medicine. So for example, if you have a urinary tract infection, you could take a few dropperfuls daily uh, until it um, resolves itself. Or another great way um, to use usnea would be to make a salve, a topical salve to use for uh, athlete's foot or um, fungal infections. Um, another great way to use usnea salve would be for um, like on wounds to help, I got my puppy here, hi, to help um, prevent, um, you know, infections on the skin. Here's Mr. Little Bear. It's not so little anymore. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so a couple um, a great ways to use it would be through a dual extraction. Let me know if you want a video tutorial on that. Um, also as a topical salve, um, you could also infuse usnea into a um, uh, like a, like a just an alcohol for like a rubbing alcohol. 
um, to use as a liniment. So you would maybe use it in a sprayer and spray it on a wound um, or a cotton pad and put it on a wound like that. Um, and then also another great use for Usmia is for lung support. So just for overall um, respiratory support like bronchitis or really nasty coughs. Um, I already mentioned the immune support, overall immune support. Um, so this is something that you most likely could find in some forest near you. Another cool thing I love about Usmia is that um, it's an indication of really clean air because Usmia really typically only grows um, where the air quality is uh, pure and really clean. So I love that little fact there. Um, so I do have some dual extracts available of Usmia on my website if you're interested in that. And then I also do have only a few, I would probably say only a handful of um, just the whole Usnia bagged up in one ounce sizes. So this would be awesome if you wanted to make your own um, tincture or your own salve. You could infuse this in oil and make your own topical salve. You could also use, uh, make your own liniment, which is the um, rubbing alcohol for um, topical use to spray on wounds or, you know, topical infections um, or skin infections. So um, hopefully that gave you some really good info about Usnia. Try to go and find some yourself. Um, try to look on the ground first and see if it's growing on some down branches. Um, and then if not, you could look along um, the actual on the actual tree and see if you could pick a little bit off. Try not to over harvest it though because we do want to encourage its growth and it um, grows very slow. So all this was found on down branches, thankfully. So. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know if you learned anything. Let me know if you've ever used Usnia. Um, and hope you have a good day.